Welcome into this week's edition of the Recruiting Roundup, the last Recruiting Roundup before the month of August. And how exciting is it? Jason, high school football season is around the corner. That's Jason Jewell. I'm Jared Cohen. We bring the latest in Arizona high school football recruiting every week, year-round. This is the Recruiting Roundup. Three commitments to get to over the past week. Let's jump right into it, Jason. Taylor Powell has been the leading tackler on South Point as a sophomore and as a junior. Before the start of his senior year, he makes his commitment. Committed to Nevada. We, we tried to get our crystal ball out, and we thought, at least I thought, that Taylor was going to go to Fresno State. But he flipped and tricked everybody. He committed to Nevada, going to play for the Wolfpack. Really what sold him was he took two unofficial visits there, really fell in love with Coach Polian, family atmosphere. Plus, you know, he's been playing since he was a freshman at South Point. He thinks he has a chance to play as a true freshman at Nevada. They, you know, they moved to a 3-4 defense, gives him two opportunities to play one of those inside linebacker spots. All the great players that have come out of South Point, he's been one of the top ones over the last few years, and he's going to be playing up against his boys Cameron Denson and Kalen Dabowski over at U of A. They have that home away matchup with Nevada coming up, so that'll be fun to watch. Another commitment to get you an in-state one at that, Billy McOwen. Right as I was posting last week's recruiting roundup, he decided to make his commitment. He has amazing timing. Didn't want to forget about him. Billy McOwen is going to be staying in-state, going up to Flagstaff. Yeah, going to play for any you another good commitment in state for the Lumberjacks. They've done a great job over the last few years. It's their second in state commitment. Got Jamison Pruitt, the big tackle out of Sandra Day O'Connor, now getting Billy out of Mountain Ridge, one of the state's leading tacklers. I absolutely love him. Six foot two, over 220 pounds. Just he's built like a Greek god, looks great, good steal for NAU. And then Ryan DeLong, he commits to Air Force. Yeah, Billy's teammate at Mountain Ridge committed to Air Force. Had, uh, you know, had a, a Division II offer from the University of Mary, but his whole thing was, if I go to Air Force, it's going to set me up for my future. That's what I want to do. So he committed. He took an unofficial visit there. You know, saw their camp, saw the campus. It was great. We thought it was the perfect fit for him. Mountain Ridge has really become quite the offensive line factory. DeLong, you also have Troy Kowalski from the 2014 class. They've had some great players coming out of that school. Now to some of the offers. Two Centennial players picking up very big offers in the past week. The first one, we've talked about him a lot, Dedrick Young. This gets outside the Pac-12, though, which he has a bulk of his offers from. Yeah, he got his 13th offer. It is from Nebraska. You know, we've battled back and forth. And is Dedrick a running back? Is he a linebacker? The Cornhuskers offered him as a linebacker. I ranked him as my number one running back in the state, as well as my number one linebacker in the state. Again, 13 offers. He has a whole bunch, you know, most of them in the Pac-12. But getting this one, I think, is huge for Dedrick. Yeah, no surprise. He was one of the top players to watch in person last year in state. Make sure you check him out. And another player to check out at Centennial, his teammate Brett Toms picks up a big offer at that. Yeah, his first BCS offer was offered by Colorado. He camped there. Some have thought, is he an O-lineman? Is he a D-lineman? Well, the Buffs think he uh, can play on the defense side of the ball. I think he's a defensive tackle. He's six foot three, weighs 270 pounds, and very, very athletic. Plays defensive end in Centennial's 3-4 uh, scheme right now, but I think he bulks up and ends up being a defensive tackle. Um, has offers right now from Air Force and from UC Davis. Congratulations to Brett Tons. That's it for this week's edition of the Recruiting Roundup. We bring, we're bringing back the daily dozen. We're going to spotlight the top players to watch coming up in the 2014 season. I'm sure all five of those players will be on it, so make sure you tune in for that as well. Jason Jewell, Jared Cohen, this has been the Recruiting Roundup on Sports360AZ.com.